Hello, today's science vocabulary video will be a boring hour and a half long video of me narrating over an ocean time. Hi, I'm a computer drawing of a human, and today we will be making another science video. Now, I know this video style takes excruciatingly long, but I guess it makes up for that train wreck of a science vocabulary video I slapped together last week. Just get on with the video, please. Nervous system vocabulary, part two. First off, we have rods and cones in our eyes. No, not like ice cream cones, you dumb. Cones enable color vision, and rods let us see colors like black, white, and gray. Heh, <laughs> my cones must be broken, because I can only see the red in the blood of my enemies. Next, we have the iris, which is a muscle in the eye that regulates the amount of light that gets in. It's usually pigmented blue, brown, or green, although mine are red. We also have a lens and a pupil in our eyes. The lens is a structure that focuses the light that enters the hole in the front of our eye, called the pupil. Kind of like the hole where my heart should be. Uh, next, we have a retina, which is a layer of cells in the back of our eye that detects images. Those images are then sent down the optic nerve, or a nerve bundle that sends impulses from the eye to the brain. I'm a demon. And finally, all this is wrapped up in a clear layer over the eye, called the cornea. It also acts as like an eye protector. Or something. I think we should talk a little about the ear before we run out of time. <laughs> All right, so this is basically how the ear works. Ba basic, basically, sound waves travel through your listen hole, through your listen hole tube, into your eardrum, which is a membrane that vibrates in response to sound waves. Those vibrations cause the ear blacksmith to wake up and make you some sound, and throws it into the this, which is a structure in the ear that converts vibrations into impulses, which are then sent down the auditory nerve, which is a nerve bundle that sends impulses from the ear to the brain. But for some stupid reason, that wasn't on the diagram I looked up, so I'll just draw one. Finally, we have semicircular canals, which are responsible for your sense of balance. Hey, hey, I'm actually done. I can finally go back to doing my normal routine of summoning the demons that live under your... Okay, so apparently I missed one, and that was uh, skin receptors, which uh, sends pressure, pain, and temperature. Why, why would that be on there? Because so far we've only talked about the eyes and ears. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you put that on there? It doesn't matter. I'm finally done now. I can finally go back to praising the almighty Dark Lord, so we will...